13 inch MacBook Air Model A 1369. Trackpad replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws in the center, up top, are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. The battery is connected with five screws, one in each corner and one in the center. Start with the one in the top right, then the bottom right corner, bottom left, top left, and then the center screw. We can now lift the battery up and out of the way. The trackpad has two connections. Go ahead and begin by lifting up that little eyelash right there and then prying underneath and removing the main cable connection. And now there's a second connection here. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Okay, so if you lift this up, take a look at it from the side here. Uh, there is another eyelash that you need to uh, wiggle around and prop up before you can pull out this cable out of its socket. This is going to take some time, and it's difficult to do at this camera angle. But I just want you to see if you can take a look here. Mm -hmm. Push that eyelash right up. And when it pops up, you can gently move the cable out. All right, now let's switch to a Phillips head bit, uh, a double zero, triple zero, and then remove the top six screws three on each side of the trackpad we don't want to remove the bottom screws they'll mess up the alignment of the trackpad now we can just lift up the macbook and lift the trackpad out of the socket make sure to clean all the edges on the trackpad and the case Reassembly. Place the trackpad in at an angle bottom end first and drop it into the slot. You might want to secure one Phillips head screw on each side in the middle first and don't tighten it all the way. Open up the MacBook and see if the trackpad is aligned. You don't want a large gap on one side and the trackpad being up against the uh, edge on the other side. So just make sure it's aligned properly and then you can secure the rest of the uh, four Phillips head screws for a total of six. Now you can reconnect the logic board by inserting it in and clicking the eyelash down and then this is the tricky part. It might take some time to get this one all the way in correctly, but uh, usually you can separate the sticky uh, material on that cable and uh, give yourself a little more playroom. And just kind of tuck it in and work it into the socket like you see here. And then just make sure to mash down that eyelash with a plastic tool so that it's nice and locked in. Reinstalling the battery is simple. Just align it into its socket. You'll have three longer screws. Go ahead and do the center first. Mm 
Now go ahead and secure the top right and the top left with the long screws. And then the shorter little screws go in the bottom. Bottom right corner and bottom left. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first, and then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.